I'm Melina Evans. I'm a sixth grade math teacher at Loveland Intermediate. I'm Ralph Donegan. I'm owner of Paxton's Wheel. I'm Trevor Wiseau. I'm Richard Snyder. My name is Kelly Higgins. I'm Bob Herzog. I work with Global 12 in Morning Cincinnati. And probably about 15 years ago, we started doing um, $5 jeans days. We put on a golf outing every year for Cancer Free Kids. I've been a coach for 55 years, and I started running a preview for Cancer Free Kids about 10 years ago. With the help of Cancer Free Kids, um, my high school MND, and the other local nonprofit organizations, we came up with this event, Night for the Fight, that raises money for pediatric cancer research. I got involved several years ago with the Celebration of Champions. I'm Amy Elam, and I am been part of the Butterfly Walk for the last 14 years. This is the DHL team. We started supporting cancer-free kids uh, three years ago. So we were here when it started when Jessica was um, 10 years old. Um, she, has a, she had a rare form of cancer called ependymoma that is um, untreatable, basically. At the time, our principal let us do it um, maybe once a month. Um, and now we do it once a week. We have lots of teachers that participate. And over the last 15 years, we've raised over $20,000. Jason Ollis, born with Jersey Mike. We uh, donated 100% of our sales to Cancer Free Kids every year, last Wednesday of the month. But through the Butterfly Walk, which was her passion, um, we have Jessica's Light slash Jessica's Jackpots raised over $50,000 over 14 years. And this year, um, I'm very excited to be able to present this grant to Dr. Wong. Uh, I'm Dr. Doug Clapp. Uh, I became involved with Cancer Free Kids about nine or ten years ago now. I, I remember the kids coming up onto that stage, Celebration of Champions, every, every year and saying, I'm so-and-so and I've been cancer free for this number of weeks, this number of months, this number of years. And to see those kind of victories firsthand is incredibly special. Yeah, it's a great, uh, great day. It's just really exciting. A lot of the patients come in, a lot of the families come in, and uh, it's really neat to see how many people support the cancer free kids. Over the past three years, we've raised over $100,000, and we're hoping to uh, continue the, the trend in the next year and many years uh, in the future. So we're here tonight. Terribly happy to be able to support some new research that's going on in pediatric cancer. When they were, when she was told that there was no more um, treatments available, she looked at the doctor and said, "I guess she needs more hope." Well, that hope is the fact that her tumor is over in the research board and being studied. I'm, I'm Dr. Ralph Batner. I'm one of the pediatric radiation oncologists here at Cincinnati Children's. <laughs> I'm David Smith. I'm one of the researchers. My name is Robert Kennedy, and I'm a researcher here at the Cincinnati Children's Hospital. I'm Brian Turpin, one of the solid tumor oncologists here. I'm just starting out my laboratory, and uh, and every bit of support is extremely important at this point. And to know that money raised is going to go to people like Brian, who are, are making sure that the research happens to make sure more of those kids get to have those kind of victories. Well, especially. This really allows us to do something that is exceptional that we cannot do through other federal and other agencies. It's really important to receive funding from cancer-free kids to uh, allow new ideas to blossom. And that's what this money is going to go towards. So this is, uh, this is very meaningful for me and for the work that I do to make it possible. Now all new therapies are needed without you guys. It wouldn't be possible, so we're very fortunate to have this organization. It's really thankful and grateful for the work that is done by our Association. And I think what's most exciting about this is that we rarely have the opportunity to actually meet people that are donating to the research that we do. We often you know, talk to our patients about um, the funding and the type of research that we do. But it's, it's, I think, just as important to be here with donors and talk to them about the ways that we're using funding and how we want to advance care for the kids that we train. This gives us the opportunity to do something that we would not have had any really hope of doing, so I'm really excited to get the work done.